guys, here's a little low spark lesson. Um, you know, for Winwood always likes drop D tuning. Don't let it scare you. All you do is take your D and drop it, okay? Your E, I'm sorry. Drop your E to a D, okay? Now, there's two uh, guitar rhythms, and really, I'm really just hearing bass and keyboard, but if you're the guitarist, you're going to want to be in on this. You're going to want to be low, and you're going to want to let that bass and that keyboard be louder and just something you can do to kind of, you know, be in there. But uh, now, unless you're playing acoustically, and if you're playing acoustically, you're going to need this drop D. If you're playing with the band and you have a bass player that can hit that low end, really, I'm probably not going to drop it just because it's going to make the chords on the changes easier. And, um, you know, I, it's not necessary. My bass player can handle that low end. So anyway, the first thing is... Okay, that is the first uh, variation of that kind of rhythm. And uh, the way I remember it, because they're both different, is look, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so you're counting to five. You're going on the A string, open, third fret, open here, which is the D. And then we're gonna do a, it's called a D minor seven chord, bar chord. And that's just barring the uh, strings on the fifth fret and putting your pointer finger on the B string on the six, skip a string, then D string, uh, use your ring finger on the uh, seventh. Okay? So, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now it goes into where the vocals come in. Okay. And notice there, I didn't do the drop E because the the top, the, you're counting to seven. Look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Why am I doing those numbers? Because I have found that if I count it out like that, when I get there, I could write it on my sheet. If I'm playing somewhere or whatever, it just helps me remember, okay, there's a five and a seven. Now, the timing's different on this one. It goes right to it. On the other one, it's... See, there's a, there's a space there. That's the... Over the solos, that's when nobody's singing. When they're singing, it's... Okay? So just so you got that, the one is, a, is, is five. One, two, three, four, five. And the other one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the chord changes on the seven to the... Same fingering, but in E, mi uh, e minor 7. So uh, hopefully y'all like that explanation because that really kind of breaks that down and it gets you thinking right to where, okay, that's the timing. It jumps it on the over the vocals. It goes to that quicker, and you can get there with it. Just play it with the song. So then it does uh, like the as it goes into the chorus. Okay, now I'm in drop D tuning. So I have to do my chords different in drop D tuning <laughs> than in regular. So I'm going to show you both because you can make the decision of how you want to do it. But um, the uh, first chord is a D. And I'm doing kind of that Chuck Berry lick where I'm just doing, or you could just go. And that right there is an A because it's in drop D, my A is just barring. I'm just hitting these top three strings and just barring. And then C. Then there's a G. And then there's an F. It could be up here. Now we're gonna fix this, and I'm gonna show you this way. Move this back to where 
So back at E, I'd just like to show you both ways. So I think it's good. You may say, oh, this is more me. I got this bass player driving. You may say, I'm by myself. I need this drop D. That's how you do it in drop D. If you're not in drop D, it's just... Okay, and then D, A, C, G, F. Now that part, I'm going to take my birdie finger <laughs> and I'm going to go to the uh, D string fourth fret. And then I'm going to take my ring finger and I'm going to go to the G string fifth. And then I'm going to take my birdie finger and I'm going to go back to the, uh, just up to the G string on the fourth fret. And then my pointer finger on the B string third. Real slow. And you do that over the keyboards. And then, and then it goes. That's F, C, G. One more, F, C, G, then back to that one. That is the same thing we did, I just showed you, with D, A, C, G, F. Okay, now, as far as soloing, here's the deal. You're playing in D minor seven. So if you're playing in D in a in a minor seven chord uh, situation in the songs in D minor seven, that's the Dorian scale. D it's going to be the D Dorian scale. So and you can do the uh, <coughs> the D minor pentatonic and all that stuff. And if you know your Dorian scale, you know that you're in Dorian here, Phrygian here. You know, and then above the Dorian scale is the major scale up here. So if you know your modes, but let's just focus on here. Let's go to the um, let's go to the uh, the E string on the tenth fret, and that's our root note of the Dorian. Look up the Dorian there. And then you're working the pentatonic with it because it's in the same spot. And then if you want to get more advanced, you can work. I just did the Phrygian into the Mixolydian because if I'm playing in the Mixolydian down here, I'm really still playing in Dorian. It's just how to work up and down the neck. Anyway, enjoy.